Sam Barber had a bunch of extra matches last week. The regular season's wrapped up and uh, a really good way to finish off. Yeah, I thought it was a good event for us. You know, we, uh, it was kind of a last minute deal. I mean, last minute, probably a month ago, we figured out, you know, we were in between where we were going to have the Big 12 championships. And once we solidified that date as the 6th and 7th of March, then that gave us an opportunity to plug into competition on the 20th. Um, options were pretty limited. If you followed wrestling this weekend, there was probably only four or five, or I guess there's probably less than 15 teams in the country that wrestled. So we created a little round robin tournament here, brought teams you know, from the front range, uh, and Utah Valley came over, and it was a pretty good thing. I think we got what we needed there. Our, you know, our starters, a lot of those guys got some got an opportunity to go through their process again of getting ready for competition. You know, continue to do a great job with the weight management. Um, you know, got out there and we were able to kind of execute in our areas. Uh, Will Mombauer, probably wrestler of the event. You know, he beat uh, Jace Kelzer, the starter from Northern Colorado, a freshman for us. Will is uh, behind a pretty good Cody Fippen. But uh, Will, you know, he's probably beaten, I think Will's beaten three starters in the Big 12 this year as a freshman for us, and uh, pretty good. But there's, uh, there's some real positives. Again, there's a lot of silver linings in this pandemic environment, and extra matches in these round-robin tournaments are one of them. So it's, it's been a, it was a good event for us. So now you've got about a week and a half before the Big 12s. Uh, how do you prepare? What do you do in the meantime? Yeah, I think, you know, we're kind of working through that. You know, one, one other thing I want to talk about real quick is just kind of wrapping up the regular season here. So I think for us, I just want to give a shout out to our guys before we talk about Big 12s. I think we got to recognize that the, the commitment our guys have made to get six straight weeks of wrestling in, right? So we had a solid season with, uh, with no breaks, and we were able to keep 30 guys in our program wrestling for six straight weeks. So I think the credit really belongs to our guys first and foremost. Secondly, uh, our medical staff here at the Air Force Academy for all the support they provided. And then third would be our administration for allowing us to do some things like move out to Jack's Valley and you know and have that bubble out there. So big deal for us, I think in this environment, like if you talk about, you know, if you see, look at all the kind of the, the pauses and the shutdowns and, and, and that stuff, is that our team in the sport of wrestling, which is perceived to be you know, um, the anti-social distancing sport, right? Our guys to go six straight weeks and allow 30 guys to get competitive experience has been, you know, incredible for our guys. And I think people are like, well, don't talk about it because you got the postseason coming. Well, if something happens, you know, as we go into the postseason, then we'll deal with it, adapt, and overcome just like we do everything else. But we're not going to not acknowledge, you know, the sacrifice that these guys have made and, and the support we've had from our administration and from our medical staff. So been a great regular season for us, some big mile markers in there for us, some real growth. You know, we've had seven guys rank consistently. We knocked off a top 25 team, went five and five matches with West Virginia, uh, had opportunities to beat two to other top 25 teams. So good regular season for Air Force Wrestling and looking forward to Big 12s. Yeah, definitely. And in the meantime, there'll be some other things going on. Night of Excellence coming up. You've got a big uh, thing up for auction. Yeah, Night of Excellence coming up. And again, one thing we talk about is we're going to grow our program. You know, we want to support the greater good of the Air Force Academy Athletic Department. We have a, a fly fishing rafting trip in there. Uh, I got a raft and uh, do a little bit of fly fishing. So uh, if you wanted to go on a, some gold medal um, trout waters in Colorado, do a float fishing trip. Um, you know, sign up for that. We already got one bid in there with an alumni, so we're hopeful that that guy gets it. But if somebody else wants to uh, take a shot at that, we'll get some stuff on, on social media today. But we want, you know, we want to get some great support and give back to our athletic department that gives so much to our program. Yeah, most definitely. And the training center, uh, some good things still happening. Yeah, still, still great initiatives going on with the RTC, so follow that on social media. Um, you know, that stuff is it's going really, really well. We're getting close to the finish line, you know, with that initiative. We got a little bit of time left, a little bit more to go on our goal. So uh, we've had some great support from our alumni again. Um, you know, that's showing up in a lot of different areas. We've got a good group of alumni coming to the Big 12 Championships. Uh, we've got a great group of parents coming to the Big 12 Championships. So we're probably going to have our largest fan contingency at the Big 12s this year. Um, that we've had since we joined the conference. So a lot of good things going on in our program and, uh, you know, excited about the postseason coming up. you got seven ranked individuals. I believe that that's a record. Uh, so, but, but what do you want to see or how can your team improve? What do you do between now and next week? Yeah, I think what we're trying to focus on between now and next week is really digging into each guy individually and saying, hey, what areas, you know, what areas can we make some improvements in? Um, either either where you're already strong or, or we want to get a little bit better. So really an individual focus. Uh, number one is trying to get those guys to be the very best version of themselves they can be, the Big 12 championships, and then making sure that when they get there they're healthy, excited for the opportunity, which I know they are. 
So I think we're trying to, we're training hard, but we're also trying to stay healthy. We're trying to focus on the individual, get those guys exactly what they need to de be. But for us, I'm at seven guys in the rankings, and we feel like this could be a historic year for, uh, for our program where we could take, you know, seven plus guys. I think we have an opportunity to take more than the guys. We have guys that aren't in the rankings at three other weights that are still really, really talented guys and have beat national rank guys. So we're looking forward to a great Big 12 tournament. That's going to be a tough Big 12 tournament. Um, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to extending our season past that. I mean, for us, the, the, the bullseye and the target is, is St. Louis, Missouri, the third week in March, and it's the NCAA tournament. And, I th and we're going to have guys uh, there representing Air Force. All right, Sam Barber, thank you for the time. All right, thank you.